My name is Luis Dentinho, this is my wife Luz, and uh, today I would like to show you guys step by step how to put a good shoulder pressure. This will be fun. <laughs> so, let's right here, let's start here guys, on a happy guy. Okay? I want to focus on the shoulder only. I know that like, you have to need to pass, all this kind of stuff. So, the first thing I need to think about, Rose, she needs to have the back flat on the ground so I can be able to to attack them. This is very simple. Any fight, if she facing to me right here, boxing, jiu jitsu, anything, it's not good for me. So I need the angles. As soon as I put her back flat or look away from me, is when I'm safe and I can attack. So, so the first thing I need to do here is to grab the head. We have a many, many uh, different ways to, okay, to get in this situation, but today I want to focus 100% on the shoulder pressure. So here, look, I'm going to make a grip in the middle of her back right here. And then I push, put her back flat on the ground. So now, second step, I want you, I will be bringing my elbow towards my knee, outside knee. As you guys can see, look, I can put my shoulder under her jaw right here. Okay? So I make a grip behind the back, drive. And I drive my elbow towards my outside knee. So right now, to have a very good pressure, I'm going to look toward her hip. So here, look, as you guys can see my leg, I pivot right here. I move right here, okay? Toes on the ground, and I drive forward. I'm going to hold the leg to make sure she cannot deliver the pressure. Hold. And pass it out. Let's talk about the details here. Why I do all this step. So I make a grip. In the beginning, I think 2009 when I started this technique, I was making the grip right here in the armpit. The reason was because I was feeling my like like pain on my fingers. Okay, like uh, once I was making a grip right here behind the back, my and I put my, my, my opponent's weight on top of my hand, I was hurting my finger. 10 years later, like, like I'm okay. If you feel pain, just control the armpit. Okay, it's gonna be the same. Should that feel much better right here? So I make a grip in the middle of the back, and I drive. Close the elbow. As soon as I close the elbow, I can put my shoulder under her collarbone right here. I don't want my shoulder in the face. Okay, shoulder in the face. I can lose the control. I want my shoulder down with the collarbone right here. It's a lot of pressure, okay? So right now, I'm going to pivot on my outside leg so I can look toward the hip. The reason I had to look toward the hip is because if my head is on top of, of my opponent's shoulder, I don't have a shoulder pressure. So I need to put my shoulder down. So here, look, I pivot. I make a T shape in her body. So right now, the only way she had to, to, to alleviate this pressure is going to be by twisting the leg to the same direction of her face. So right now, I don't twist her, her spine anymore. Okay? So I make a grip, drive the elbow towards my knee, pivot, control the hip. I like to control right here, but you can hold the pants or you can hold the knee. I like right here. I don't make any grip, I just hold right here. So now look, I drive all my way toward the neck. She will open. I don't worry about the legs. <coughs> Trust me, they're gonna open. Put your toes, put your toes on, the, on, the, on the ground and drive forward. I do this technique for like 10 years already, almost 11 years, and everybody open the leg. In the beginning, I was fighting against the leg, but it's impossible for one arm to beat your legs. Okay, Jiu Jitsu is about like, uh, big muscle against small muscle. So, your leg is much stronger than my arm. So, I'm going to focus everything on the neck. If I want to be stronger than my opponent, first thing I need to think about is to disconnect my, my opponent. So right here, if she have a friend, she have a strength. So I have to pass this. If she's sideways, if I try to grab the head, she have a strength. Because she's like sideways facing to me and her spine is aligned. 
okay? So what you need to do here, back flat on the ground. So right now she don't have this frame anymore. To this side, please. Right here, block my bicep, she can block. Back flat, block my bicep, she can run. So before you grab the head, you have to put your opponent back flat to the ground. And then you can swim and then grab the head. Another way, after pass the frame, pass the frame, to make her don't have any strength right here, it's gonna be by twist the spine, okay? As soon as I twist her spine, I put the head facing to that direction, the leg facing to me. So right now, she, no way she, she's gonna be able to push me. So I should look at pivot, look toward the hip, keep your head down. Drive forward. The more your opponent holds the leg, more weight and more pressure put on the neck. Alright? Thank you.